Would you like to learn how to steal links with a competitor backlink analysis? Going way back when I created my first website, I knew I needed backlinks. In fact, the only difference between me and my competitors was that they had thousands of backlinks and I had zero. And they would pretty much outrank me every single time on Google, even though my content was better. I know that sounds arrogant, but it's the truth. So there was only one solution, give up and get a job at McDonald's. No, just kidding. What I actually did was figure out how to steal my competitors' backlinks. And since then, I've built thousands of backlinks for my own website and for my clients too. So in this video, you'll discover the actionable steps to steal your competitors' backlinks, drive more traffic to your website, and rank higher on Google. On another note, I heard that if you smash the like button on YouTube, it actually helps you get more backlinks to your website passively. So it could be worth giving that a shot too. Right, so obviously, first thing you're gonna need when it comes to competitor analysis is a list of competitors. So I've got a list here that I've made earlier and this is in the mattress niche. And what I'd recommend is just finding a bunch of blogs that already have a ton of links to them. So in your particular niche. And then I would create a list of five to 10 competitors that you want to copy and you can start seeing the links from. And this is really crucial before we get started. It only takes about 10 minutes really to figure out, okay, who are the websites with the most backlinks? It doesn't take long at all. And from there, we can start digging in more. So that's what I recommend starting with first. All right, so we've got this incredible list of competitors right here. What you need to do is slap them into Ahrefs. And Ahrefs basically gives you the keys to the kingdom when it comes to link building. So you can type in the competitor here. Um, you'll see, right, okay, they've got a ton of backlinks there. It's a silly amount to go at, and that means there's loads of opportunities for you. So what you need to do is go scroll down and flick to pages, top content. And from here, you're gonna get a list of all the top pages that you can better as backlinks from. The thing is, right, most people make the mistake that they think, right, if this website has loads of links to the homepage or to the careers page or finance options, that means everyone's gonna to link to yours too, but that's not the case. In fact, nobody's gonna to link to your commercial pages, you know, such as your homepage or your sales pages or anything like that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Because really when it comes to link building outreach, it's all about exchanging value. So you need to pick out the topics that have the most value. And these are topics that you can easily beat. So for example, right, we've got this one here. It says four ideas for decorating your guest bedroom this summer. You could easily come along with 10 ideas instead of just four, whip it out of the bag, show the website that's linked to them, and they're gonna be like, oh yeah, 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 that's good. That's that's way better than the one I previously linked to. Now, the thing is, you need to sort by referring domains here. And you might think, why? Well, the thing is, not all of these pages actually have a lot of backlinks. So if it's only got one, two, or three, or four, that's not enough links. So instead you wanna go for these high rollers over here. So for example, snooze term, let's have a look at this. What are they talking about here? Is that a page that we could potentially replicate and get backlinks to? And to be honest, I'd say no, it's not, it's not a content page. But then we scroll down and we go, okay, what about this one? Four tips to help you break in your bed. Now that is an easy topic we could cover and get a few backlinks to. So we're gonna paste that in there. And that's your first topic. And then what you're gonna do, oh, that's another one there. What you're gonna do is just keep going through all of these competitors and run the same sort of report and then figure out, right, what are the best topic ideas that I can steal from my competitors and start getting links to my site? Now, like I say before, it's important to find the blogs that actually have a lot of links. If they don't have links, it's not a point wasting your time on it. So you can see here, this has got 16 links to the page. Right, well, that could be a good topic. So we can take it in, and we could pop it in there, bing bang bosh. And if you do that across all your 10 competitors, especially if they have a lot of links, then you're gonna find so many topic ideas that you can easily steal from your competitors, reverse engineer, and start getting backlinks too. But make sure you keep watching because the process doesn't end there, and the next step is crucial. So now you have this little war chest of topics for link building, but the thing is, right, like I was saying before, you gotta create better content than your competitors. Otherwise, you know, if you just do the minimum or you do the same as your competitors, people are gonna see it and think, what? Why, why would I link to someone else's content when it's pretty much just the same as the one I linked to before. So you have to create something better. Now let me give you an example, right? This is a page that I created earlier. And as you can see, it's actually got over 217 referring domains. So it's built a ton of backlinks. 
And creating the content was super simple as you're about to find out. So here's a competitor that had loads of backlinks and I thought, right, I found them, they're my competitor. I wanna get their backlinks too, but how do I beat them? So what I did was I looked through their article and I thought, right, how can I make mine better than theirs? So you can see like this pop-up first of all is annoying. And then you can also see, oh my God, there's a million pop-ups on this article. So already I can beat them. So what I did was I created this article and it's a bit easier to navigate. You've got the table of contents here. And as you can see, like it's just, it's got so much information. It's got infographics. It's got loads of resources on there. It's very detailed, it's in depth. It's got tons of meditation exercises. And as I scroll down, you see that overall, it's just a superior piece of content. Not blowing my own trumpet, but you know, genuinely it is a better article. So when I use this for outreach, people saw it. They were like, yeah, that's amazing. I want to link to that. It's one of the best things I've seen. So therefore I got the 217 articles. So it's really important to optimize your content. So for example, when it comes to outreach, here's some guidelines that I send to my clients to make sure that they produce better content than their competitors. And this is a tried and tested and proven system. And these are the guidelines I recommend. So, you know, make it long, cover everything someone wants to know about the topic, include loads of pictures, references, etc., And do not monetize the articles. So coming back to this, you know, we had loads of pop-ups before. I actually removed all pop-ups, banners, and the endless list of ways you can monetize your content. And doing this means that you'll get a lot more links when it comes to reaching out, which is what I'm about to show you. Next up, this is where the magic happens. You're gonna start prospecting and reaching out to people, right? So going back to this list, we're gonna copy the link address that we filled in earlier. And then we pop it in here into a address like that. And already, you can see this is a report I generated earlier, and you wanna go through this list and just filter out the websites that you genuinely want a link from. So if it's high DR, that's good. If it gets traffic, that's good. If it has a decent URL, that's also good. But there's gonna be some pages you don't particularly want a link from. So for example, this one, it's a coupons website. It's only a DR4, you know, it's not particularly great. And, and also it doesn't get any traffic, right? So that's a website you don't want to link from. And as you scroll down, you can sort of filter out the crap and, and figure out the websites you don't want to link from. And then what you need to do is contact them. Now you could use cold email, you could use social media, you could get them on the blower and give them a call if you wanted to, but whatever way you decide to build links, just go ahead. And you know, if you're using cold email, you can pop the link address into Hunter like this, and then start reaching out to them. Now, if you're thinking about outreach and you're like, but I just don't know what to say to people. Well, here's an example that I actually used earlier. It worked extremely well and it built a link for a client almost straight away. So, you know, you can see the sort of email template you can use there. Here's their reaction. So they banged in the link for me and it was as easy as that, basically. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please smash a like on it and that will genuinely make my day. And if you haven't already, please subscribe because my SEO videos are only gonna help you make more money for your website. So thanks for watching.